Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and we have that age old question of which video doorbell is the best. And as you can see here, I already have a ring doorbell installed and there's probably a reason why we are installing one of these new Eufy doorbells. We've tried all these different doorbells, most recently the ring. I even got one of the better upgraded like the ring two or three or four and uh, it's just not working out. It seems like every time we turn it on and we wanna check a video, it says that it's downloading a uh, software update and I'm not even joking, it happens all the time. Another thing that is the main reason we are switching is because almost all the other doorbells, especially the Ring, they require a subscription service to offer, uh, to access all of their features. You wanna get those events, you wanna get all those saved rolls of footage and you have to pay for the storage. So for the first 30 days, they give it to you for free and kinda of show you what it can do and then it stops. It doesn't show you any of that. So the only time you can access the video is if you immediately click on it. After that, you don't have access to it. You can't go back and look at it earlier in the day, or let's say someone rang your doorbell, or there's motion detected, and then like 10, 20 minutes later, you wanna go back and look at it. It's not saved unless you pay for their subscription. So that was something that we didn't wanna do. We wanted to be able to buy a doorbell, install it, and just have some of the basic features. I didn't need the professional monitoring or the cloud storage, but it does offer that cost some money, and uh, the Eufy does that as well. It offers all those features, smart AI detection, professional monitoring, they offer all of that. But the main feature for this Eufy is that it has two cameras looking forward with a big field of view, and that it also looks down and has that package camera, so it views the whole floor and it has detection for your packages to see if they're delivered and if they've been moved. But they also have onboard storage, which means that you don't have to pay all this extra money, monthly, yearly, long term, to access the features that you bought the doorbell for. So that was one of the main reasons why we actually switched over to Eufy is because it seems to have all those features accessible for the price that you pay. And then you can upgrade to all the cloud storage and all the monitoring stuff if you want, but everything you bought it for, it's gonna be for that price. Another thing is that it comes with a doorbell and that was something that we figured out that we did want. You put the, the video doorbell up front, usually doesn't allow your doorbell in the house to work anymore and you have to buy an additional chime on the inside this doorbell comes with one. You can plug it in anywhere you want. You can put it next to your bed. You can put it in the kitchen. You can put it in the bathroom. You can put the doorbell wherever you want. Comes with the doorbell. It wasn't any extra cost and it actually all came together for about the same or cheaper than the ring doorbell that we bought. So those are some of the features that I like and those are the reasons why we're switching. The other thing is, is that the uh, quality seems to be better on the Eufy. Um, I, mean, I know it says 4K, 5K. The Eufy says 2K. It is great video quality and it's all in color. So even on the events where it shows like motion detected and it shows what happened, those are all in color and in HD, really, really high quality. So I like that. And the fact that it works often and consistent and it's fast and the ring doorbell wasn't, doesn't really matter how many uh, 4K, 5Ks you have. If you can't look at the video or it didn't catch it, what does it matter? So we're gonna go ahead and remove this ring doorbell and we're gonna install the Eufy. I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy, a couple simple steps. We'll go right into it. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put up the template and you're gonna put that up on the wall. It was nice that it came with it. The ring doorbell didn't have a template. I just used the base plate that they had and I kind of marked the holes where I needed it. But in this case, I'll use the template then I can pre-drill those holes into the stucco. Now, when you're pre-drilling the holes into the stucco, I would recommend starting a little bit smaller with your drill bit size. Sometimes it will ask for like a quarter inch drill bit. I would start a little bit smaller because when you're drilling into concrete or stucco, it always seems like a little bit of extra material is removed. Then the hole ends up being too big. So I would start smaller, and if you have to, you can kind of wiggle the drill bit around just enough to be able to push those uh, anchors in. So once you have the anchors in, you can go ahead and put your base plate up and we can start securing that to the wall. In my case, we're gonna be using the shim that they have, which helps kind of turn the camera. We have a uh, doorbell kind of off to the left where our power source is. So I wanna be able to angle it properly to see the walkway. All the doorbell kits that we've ever gotten have that. So that's a really good feature as well. You're not getting, you're not missing out on that stuff. But when you do that, you can see the ground, you can see the whole walkway and it has a really big field of view. So get the base plate up there and then we can go ahead and install the actual doorbell itself. Prior to installing the doorbell, you wanna make sure you plug it in and walk through the prompts on the app that they have. That again was also very smooth. Very, very simple. It was really fast. As soon as you clicked on the button, it synced, it linked. It did everything it said it should do. There was no failures to connect. It did it right away. You can sync it to the chime on the inside of the house immediately. There was no, there was no lag. Sometimes when you do those electronic things, it just seems like you gotta run it a couple times. With this Eufy system, it worked exactly like it said. The instructions were perfect and it, it linked and it was set up within minutes. So that was really nice. 
you set that up inside the house and plug it in and then when you wire it into the wall it's up and running so you have your base plate on and then you can go ahead and connect your wires in the back it doesn't matter which side you put them on the terminal it's self-correct so just plug the two wires or screw them down on the back then you can pop the uh, doorbell itself actually on the base plate if you ever need to remove it for any reason they give you a little key that you can pop into the top and it actually comes right off and you can work on it or you know adjust something and then you can put it right back on you may or may not also need to put a jumper cable inside of your actual doorbell in your house. All you have to do is remove the cover off of your doorbell and you'll see those two little telephone wires that are connected to the front and the trans terminals. They give you these little jumper cables that you just connect between the front and the trans and that jumps power over to also help assist with powering the doorbell properly. And that's pretty much how fast and simple it is. One of the main things that I did see is that you might have to upgrade your transformer or the power source for your doorbell. It does say that in the ring. It says it on most of them that you may or may not need to. The problem was is that it just says, consider this, make sure you have the proper power source, and then it moves on. With the Eufy doorbell, it actually notified me and said, hey, we are not getting proper power to this thing. You need to upgrade it. Here's the part, here's the link, and we'll sell it to you. Nobody else has done that. That was probably one of the coolest features is it told you exactly what part you need and it notified me and stopped me and said, hey, this thing is not running properly. It will run, but it's gonna disconnect sometimes. So you need to upgrade your power source. What they're talking about is this little thing. This is like a little transformer. It takes your voltage in the wall and it kind of downsizes it a little bit to run these units properly. So it has these little low voltage wires that come off of it. And you replace this with a little bit beefier one. These are about a $20 part that you can get. I'll put links for it in the video. And then I'll also put a link for a video that I made on how to do this yourself. This is something that we did to make sure that our uh, doorbell was working properly. And none of the other doorbell systems told us except for the Eufy one and it notified me. So that was really cool. I'll put this in there and there's another, like I said, there's a video that I made that um, I'll put at the end of the video for this if you want to click on it and then upgrade that yourself. So we have everything up and running. You have everything connected. Once those wires are connected, it automatically connects to the Wi-Fi system and you're ready to go. Immediately, we started getting uh, notifications on our watch, on our phone, saying that there was motion detected. You could click on it and it would immediately take you over to the app and show you the video. And like I said, it's very, very high resolution. I think it's better than most of the other ones. But the fact that it works all the time and we haven't had any problems so far, that's the, probably the best feature is that you just want reliability and this thing gives it to you. Not only is it one of the better prices and also one of the better, more complete kits, but it has simple instructions. It works like it says and you don't have to pay for anything else after you buy it. So if you want all those extra features, you can obviously sign up for the subscriptions, but if you wanna buy it for the features that it says it can do, it has that all on board and you get it for the price. Once again, I'll put that link down there in the bottom for these systems. I'll put a link at the end of this video for the one that shows you how to change out that transformer in case you want it. And thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing something right and that you enjoyed it. And um, I do a lot of videos on DIY and how to do stuff around the house, everything from building a table to building a house, framing, electrical, drywall. So uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next build.